Welcome to Lunch with the Lord. I'm Pastor Mark. We're in 1 Timothy chapter 6. We're continuing in verse 10. And we're also continuing our series of messages on the deception of riches. But before we begin, Jeremiah 15, 16, Thy words were found, and I did eat them. And thy word was unto me the joy and the rejoicing of my heart. Now, we saw in the first part of this verse here, it says, for the love of money. And we know that it's not money in its in and of itself is not the problem. It, the problem is the love of money. It's the heart of man towards money that is, it says, is the root of all evil. And that's what we need to guard from. It's not having riches is, is not an evil thing, but it's that love for it, that lust to have money, and that basically that desire to almost do anything to get it, all right? So it says here, for the love of money, and then it says, is the root of all evil. Not all evils come from a love of money. There is, there is the evil of ambitious desire to get ahead, which is, you know, people in businesses want to keep going up the ladder in their business and, and, and at their job. And maybe they have to, <laughs> maybe they have to step on a few heads to get up there, right? <laughs> well, also you have the evil of sexual sins, such as rape, molestation, that kind of thing, uh, the evil of discrimination, the evil of religious persecution, and there are others also. So not when it says here the love of money is the root of all evil, not all evils come from a love for money. Some of them just come from a pure hatred towards something or a pure desire towards something else, the, a, the desire to obtain a position, right? It is better, it's better to say that all kinds of evil grow out of a love for money. And I think it's better to say that, that all kinds of evil grow out of a love for for money. The world is proof that both men and women will commit any kind of sin or crime because of their desire for money. To some people, no sin or no crime is off limits, right? You have uh, murder, prostitution by men and women, also, you have, you know, spies le uh, committing crimes against your own country for money, right? Some, sometimes with people, you know, there is a price. And when you meet that price, people will do almost anything for money. How many wars were fought over the riches of another country? And we see it, we see it all the time. People, uh, sometimes wars happen because of hatred of another, of another uh, race, of another uh, culture. But sometimes it's, they mask the, the war because they want, they want the riches. They, they make it look like the war is happening because of this reason, when in reality, they, they started the war for this other reason, because they want the, the, the treasures in this in this country or the the resources of this country so it says the love of money is the root of all evil and then it says which while some have coveted after and the Greek word for coveted is orego and we see this same Greek word orego back in chapter 3 and verse 1. And it says, this is a true saying, if a man or rego or desire the office of a bishop. So it's a, it's a coveting. If a, if a person, if a man 
covets or desires to be a bishop, or be a pastor, or teacher. That's a good thing, okay? But here, this coveting has to do with riches, and this is a bad thing. <laughs> so, it means to, this great Greek word, orego, means to stretch yourself out in order to touch something, in order to grasp something. So it's like a reaching out. You're, you're reaching out. Orego, I desire it. I'm, I'm, I'm leaning forward and I'm reaching. I, I want to touch this thing or to grab it. Sometimes you see it, <laughs> you see it at the zoo, right? You see a, uh, an animal come close to the fence and you see little kids and, and they, they want to, they want to just touch it, right? There's something about, <laughs> there's something about, we were all like that, right? When, when we were kids growing up, little, little, little children and we saw an animal that looked interesting we wanted to just touch it right and 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 hold it or whatever <laughs> it's the same same meaning of orego and it implies a strong desire or an emotion so this this coveting of of wealth of money is it it, it goes as deep as the emotions it goes as deep as the, the, the desire of the heart. It is This Greek word is also used in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 16. And it says here, But now they, de they desire, they orego, a better country, that is, and heavenly. Wherefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God. For he hath prepared for them a city. And it's like all of us. In our hearts as Christians, we are, we are orego. We are desiring. We're reaching out. We can't wait to get to heaven. I know it means leaving this earth, but we have a desire to reach out and to grab heaven. We want it so much. So it, so it means to, to stretch out and reach out for heavenly things, the thing our our new our new home, our new city in, in heaven. Therefore, there are people who, in their mind, where is it? In the mind, they are stretching out. They are desiring and longing to touch and to grab hold of riches. Again, remember. It always takes place in the mind. It begins, it, it begins here in the mind. When a person desires riches, it always begins right here in their thought patterns, in their desires of their heart. The outward appearance may be deceiving, but inwardly they long and they strive to have riches. It does not mean, again, that they ever will attain those riches, but they want them. So it's not talking only about just rich people, but it's the people who want those riches. They desire them, and maybe they get them, maybe they don't. So he says, the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some, some, again, not everyone wants riches, not everyone wants to be rich, Many people are satisfied as they are. But some have coveted. They've, they're reaching out in their mind. They're reaching out for these, for the riches of this world. They have coveted. They have erred from the faith. They've erred from the faith. And this Greek word for erred is apoplaneo. And apo means from. And Planeo comes from the Greek word plane, and it means to wander. And it's where we get our English word planet. So apo planee means to cause to wander away from something. It means to lead astray. So a person who is coveting, who is stretching out, reaching for riches, and wealth of this world are being led astray. They're being, they're erring, okay? 
they have, it says they have erred from the faith. All right. So in context, it's in the passive voice. This is interesting. Plan, planeo, apple planeo is in the passive voice. And it means that these people who are doing the coveting are receiving the action of being led astray by their desire and their longing for riches. So the lo their longing and their desire for riches is producing an action and what it's and it's causing them to to be led astray to to err all right in mark chapter 13 and in verse 22 it says for false christs and false prophets shall arise and shall show signs and wonders what to seduce to seduce in the in the King James version here it says to seduce if it were possible even the elect that Greek word for to to seduce is the sa is our same Greek word apoplaneo okay and so it means to wander and to draw uh, to draw away from to to cause to stray and what is it that they are being led away from so those that desire, those that covet, strongly desire, and they're reaching out for riches, they are erring. They are being led astray from something. And what is it? They're being led astray from the faith. All right? And uh, we'll, we'll get into that next lesson because it's a little bit long. But we'll get, in, uh, get into their erring from the faith. Next lesson. All right? Until then, walk with the Lord. I know he walks with you.